Hey everybody, sorry for the lack of videos recently. Um, I've been getting ready to go back to school, and now I'm back to school, and I'm super busy. Um, but I'm going to do my best to keep up with videos, and Pixie's going to help me out too. So, today I am going to talk about transporting your doll, and the safe ways to do that. Obviously, um, here, I have to push the camera back a little bit now, but um, what you're going to need is a doll carrier. Um, you can buy this from most companies, or some companies even send it free with your doll. So this is an example of a doll carrier. This is an MSD sized one. So this will fit mini Super Dolphy sized dolls, or 45 centimeter dolls. Um, as you can see, they are long and sort of body shaped, um, so that they don't roll around. This one. Dream of Doll, I don't know if this is still true, I believe it is, but they send at least their MSD sized dolls, their Dream of Children dolls, with free carriers. Um, they don't send them in, yeah, they don't send that for their SD sized dolls, but they do send their MSD sized dolls in these carriers. And let me show you how it works. Here's the zipper up here, They're pretty. it's like square shaped. Um, and the things you're going to want to have to transport your doll, firstly a carrier, it's just the safest way um, to not damage your doll and keep them straight. Um, minimize risk. Um, it has a nice strap here, a shoulder strap. It even has some little uh, plastic footies on the bottom. So, inside I have pillows. Um, these are the same pillows that come with your doll um, in the boxes or for Dream of Doll. They, came, they come wrapped up like candy. Like, um, they come wrapped up like that. So, those are good to pad your doll so it doesn't wobble around in there and hit the sides. I mean, generally just keep your doll immobilized as much as possible when traveling with it. I mean, you could, travel, you could be traveling it with it to a doll meet, or um, if you're going to take it on a plane, a doll carrier is good, but definitely check the security regulations and the size limitations depending on what airline you're taking. So, there's even like a nice pouch in the front that you can keep a comb and things like that. Um, also, what you're going to want to do, I'm going to show you how to package a doll up right now. And my helper today is going to be one of my new dolls. Um, he is a Volks School A with some crazy hair right now. But um, he is a suntan School A. I airbrushed his head to be suntan. I, I can show you that. Um, so this was the original Volks normal skin and this was the color I airbrushed it. Um, without a reference it doesn't generally look especially tan. I mean it looks tan. It doesn't look... well, he doesn't need his wig. Um, so I have here an SD sized carrier. Um, yeah, that fits on screen. So um, an SD size carrier is usually more useful because you can fit both SD and MSD size dolls. It's not usually a good idea to cram an SD size doll into an MSD carrier. Um, so, what we do, we open it up, and what I've got inside are a clear face mask. Um, this is especially important if your doll has eyelashes, like glued in eyelashes. If it doesn't, it's not necessarily as important um, because there's going to be plenty of other padding. But with eyelashes, if it squishes the face, um, then the eyelashes are crushed and you have to replace them because they're never going to be the same again. I also keep a plastic sandwich bag, a clean plastic sandwich bag. Um, it doesn't, it's not going to matter as much for him because I took his wig off. But for dolls with fiber wigs um, that get messed up easily, um, it's usually useful if you don't feel like taking the wig off. A lot of people just take the wig off, but sometimes I have trouble getting wigs on if they don't fit perfectly. Um, or actually, I have had trouble with very hard plastic face protectors. I have had them chip the face up on the chin where it rubs. So usually the first thing I'll do, if my doll has a wig on, just pretend he does, I will slip this on and I'll have the front of the bag go down. Um, it looks a little gruesome just because you have this little person with a bag on their head, but it's, it's protecting your investment here. And then 
you put this on, and I don't have any to show you right now, but I mean for fingers, it's nice to have a rubber band and a long strip of bubble wrap just to wrap around their hands, um, because those are the most delicate part of their bodies, um, and most easy to damage. So, what I do, I take the carrier, and I put one of the cushions in, um, these are NSD sized cushions, so they're not like perfect for this demonstration, but they work. Um, so then you take him. Okay, I'm trying to get this on camera as best I can. I hope my computer doesn't fall. So here's the carrier. And what you want to do is you want to slide them in foot first. And make sure their feet are at the bottom of the carrier. Okay, I can't do this on camera. <laughs> Um, so make sure you push their feet all the way down so that they're, it's like they're standing in there. Um, it's usually easiest to do this while the carrier is lying down on a flat surface. So you just slide them in there. So you can see he's in there now. And make sure everything is all arranged with the face protector on. Um, generally I try and put the hands in front of the body. Um, that's just the way that I consider safest. Um, take another pillow, nice purple one, and stuff it in, stuff it down to his feet, and then just kind of put it around his body. Um, and you can continue with as many pillows as you think you need. Um, I've seen people like cram pillows into there. So, I mean, some people think that's safer, or some people think fewer pillows, like less pressure on the doll from the pillows. I don't know how much pressure pillows can really put on your doll. Um, but when you're done, just zip it on up, and generally I try to keep it upright. Like, my doll's head is up here, the feet are down there. That's the way the doll is made to be. If there's any extra space, like, his head... Like, this part is, of the carrier is empty, he's not that tall, so generally I don't want to be, like, flipping it upside down, because he'll, like, fall upwards and, like, hit his head. I mean, it doesn't hurt his head, obviously, but, you know, just generally less movement is better for them. So, that's generally how to pack up your doll. Um, I mean, they're pretty safe when they're in a carrier, um, as long as you're not throwing it around or crushing it. Um, the carriers are generally just fabric, so they're not going to have much support, but you can buy carriers like Volks used to sell violin cases as carriers, and those were hard and protected your doll a lot. Um, so, that's all about carriers, I think. Um, it's nice to take your doll places, and it's nicer to have a carrier because then you don't have to worry about lugging them around and flopping around or worry about them being in a case that's not designed for them. So, I hope that was useful. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what a good de deal would be right now to get in on. Fairyland is having their summer event. And if you order anywhere from, I think it's $295 all the way up to $1,800, you can get any number of free things from them. So, if you've been eyeing it all on Fairyland, now would be the time to get it. And I hope I'll be able to see you guys again soon. I've just been really busy, so I'm going to try really hard to keep up with it. But um, if I don't, I hope you guys understand. And if I can't keep up with it, I will definitely um, ask somebody for help and try and get somebody else in on the channel. Alright, well, I hope to see you guys again soon.